Don here in Florida, and last week I changed out the Lovejoy coupling uh, rubber on this AC converted uh, Monarch 10 E. And after I did that, after the uh, mechanical noise went away, I was starting to pick up a lot of frequency noise out of the uh, motor that I probably really never heard simply because of the mechanical noise. Since I'm gonna have to use this lathe a lot this week, I thought I'd tune out some of that uh, frequency noise and show you how to do it, okay? Okay, so before we get going on this, we need to find a carrier frequency, which is right here on P014. So let's read up about carrier frequency here. We're running a seven and a half horsepower motor, so that's uh, 0.6, about 0.6 kW. So if we look in the chart here, that's right here. Uh, highest carrier frequency that we can use right here is 15. Um, I th it's supposed to be set on eight factory. So we'll go check that. It sounds a lot louder than what my last one was on the factory setting. So uh, let's go in and check that. Okay, but what it says here is the advantage of high carrier frequency, uh, ideal current waveform, little current, harmonious wave, and motor noise. So basically, by changing your carrier frequency, you can change the pitch in the uh, motor noise. The disadvantage of high carrier frequency is increasing the switching loss, increasing inverter temperature, and the impact to the output capacity. The inverter needs to derate on high carrier frequency. At the same time, the leakage and electrical magnetic interference will increase. Okay, uh, applying low carrier frequency in contrary to the above. Uh, too low carrier frequency will cause unstable running, torque decreasing, and surge. So we don't want that. We don't want to go down from factory setting. We, we definitely want to go up to um, improve the noise. So we're not going to worry about the lower. We're just going to go up. So we'll go up in steps just to see how it goes. What I can say is this. That VFD I have on there is a 10 horsepower VFD. So I highly doubt, even if I went to maximum on this, that I would even come close to overheating this VFD. Um, the other one, on the other application I have, it, it gets constant hard running, and it never ever gets hot. The uh, Huan Yang actually put a pretty good fan and heat sink on that, so I've never had an issue with overheating on that. So actually my Tico over there, I do have a heating issue in the summertime on that, so thumbs up to Huan Yang. So let's go do this. Okay, so let's start by getting to our carrier frequency. So we're going to program, we're going to data set. We're at uh, P005. We're going to go to 14. Let me ju just. Uh, we're going to go to P014. So let's move up to P014 and data set. And right now it's on 5.0, which is way too low. The factory setting is eight. So let's bring it up to eight. Uh, shift over, eight data set. Whoop, I missed it. Back down, data set. We stayed on seven, let's go to eight. Whoop, shift, shift. Let's see what she does with what's supposed to be the data set. The, let's see what she does with what's supposed to be the factory setting. <sighs> okay, by going to what is supposed to be the factory setting, it uh, cleaned up a lot of that frequency noise, uh, but it's still a little bit there. I can kind of hear an undertone of it. Probably on the camera, you can hear a lot more because the microphone on that camera picks up a lot more noise than I can hear. And uh, I can actually pick it up in editing with headphones. So we're going to set it up a little bit more. So we're going to go to program set. Again, data set. We're going to back down to 14. Uh, data set 8. Let's uh, let's go ahead and shift over. 
and we're going to bring it up to 10. So we're going to drop that number down. All right, let's set it there and back out and try that. Right, that made it almost impossible for my ear but uh, I can still hear just a little bit of it probably if I put the covers back on I wouldn't hear anything but let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit more we can go all the way up to 15 with this so um, bring it to 14 data set we're gonna go ahead and bring it up to 12 okay data set back out and see what happens All right, right there at uh, number 12 setting, we're three below the max of 15. It, it's up top side, it's dead silent. I don't hear anything. Uh, probably down here with the camera, there might be a little bit of uh, noise being picked up, but uh, we'll see in editing. Uh, we're gonna put the covers on, back on here, and uh, run it and see what kind of noise we're getting that way. Wow, what a difference. Right from here where I'm standing, the uh, difference in, in frequency noise is just unbelievable. It's almost nothing. So I'm really, really content with that. Uh, interestingly enough, this is the second Huanyang GT that I've purchased. And uh, all my experience up till now has really been like Hitachi, Fuji, uh, Tico Westinghouse. So I'm really surprised and pleased of uh, the performance that I've been getting out of these Huanyangs. Um, you know, just to be able to tune something like that out so easily. Uh, I've, I've fought with other VFDs in the programming aspect of it, but this Wan Yang is just dead easy. So I'm really uh, happy about that. Anyway, so I guess that's about it. I hope y'all caught something from this. And as always from Florida, Dawn out.